love of me Run through the land You run through my soul Bring me wisdom and peace Run through all ages And all of life stages You bring me around To find my release Hi, this is Jan Lewis. Welcome to be my guest today. We have an all-time favorite on this program. Kate Cote is back with her kitties, <laughs> and today she has, what's his name again? Joey. Joey, Fur Love Comfort Cats. Kate is the founder of Fur Love Comfort Cats. And <laughs> welcome back, Kate. Look at this little guy. This he is, is a little Siamese. This is Joseph James. This is only his, what, second time out with me. I got him on Sunday, so he's only been with me since Sunday. And as you can see, he's a little squirmy, wormy. <laughs> can you see him, Paul? Can you see him? He is adorable. Now he's is he full, full size? Yes. Yeah. With ears, like ears on that boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I said to her, "Are you sure it's a boy?" Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He says, "I know you're talking about me, Jan." And so you'll be working with him for a while. Yeah. Get him to be a fur love comfort cat. Oh, I'd love to see that coming if it was visiting me. Oh, I can't. Oh, I just love him. I know, and he's so tiny. He was such a hit. We, he did his first visit yesterday in a facility. And, of course, when you first get these little kitties, they're kind of tired, so they're a little better behaved and as the days go on and they get you know, more used to things. They get more energetic, as you can see with Joey. So, of course, yesterday, after he did calm down, he, he was very good doing his visit. Um, and, and Joey has been sort of an unexpected blessing because... Um, Last year, remember I had hoped to bring Daniel yeah. David, my other Siamese, well, no one can touch Daniel David, and um, he's very smart, but he just doesn't want anybody touching him, and so this little kitten came from the same cattery that Daniel David came from, and Daniel David just thinks Joey hung the moon. He really? washes him and cuddles with him. And he's Siamese also. Yes. So they're bonding already. What does the baby, what does he think of, Joey think of all the other kitties in your uh, troop? Well, you know, he's a kitten. He thinks everybody loves he him. Loves and him. so at first it was funny because the other cats were all hissing and growling at him. And now they're laying with him. And, you, you know, I come in and find him cuddled with the other cats. And it's really, yes, you're a good boy, Joey Joe. Look at you. Who's a smarty boy? So he was born in March? Born in March, April, May, June, July. No, August. it's only six no. weeks. Oh, weeks. I was going by months. Okay. I think he's six weeks. There was, You know, it was funny because I wasn't expecting to get Joey, and at the end it just was like boom, 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 you know. Mm -hmm. And so I thought she said he was four months old, and then a lot of, there were rescue people there, and they were like, oh, he's not four months old. He's only a kitten. And they said, did you look at his teeth? And I said, I didn't look at yeah, anything. Teeth. <laughs> you know, I said, I didn't look at anything because it happened so suddenly, but I have since looked at his teeth and hey. I think he has his first teeth. He's got to he's, he's teething on you? <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Kate, for people who haven't met Kate before, tell us what the Fur Love Comfort Cats, what do you do with the kitties? Well, we bring a kitty to visit people who don't have access to kitties anymore for whatever reason. They might not be allowed in a place where they live or they could be in a nursing home or assisted living. And it was a really hard sell when we started out. Okay, Joey, <laughs> this is a really hard sell when we first started out because I don't do any group visits. Yeah. There's no rough handling with the kitties. Um, it's strictly one-on-one -on -one visits. So when we show up, I prefer to do like room visits and then the kitties will get right out of the stroller and they'll get on someone's bed and and then the people could pat them from the air and a lot of times the cats go to sleep and oh. at first I was kind of upset about that but oh. we were working with a man a few weeks ago and he said this is the nicest thing anybody ever said to me. He said, um, I like it that your cats aren't trained because they act like real cats. And they do, you know, they're not, 
you know, nobody grabs at them, you know, um, you know, one facility said to me, what do they do? You know, said, she said, they don't do anything. And I well, said, that's what, they'll just be there with you, you know. Right. And I said, but, you know, if people want something that they can clutch at and mm -hmm. hang on to, give them a stuffed animal. Yeah. You know, I mean, these guys have claws. Um, people are on Coumadin. You know, I want it to be a nice, safe, peaceful program for people. How long have you been doing this, Kate? I've been do well. I've actually been working with cats since I was 12 years old, so that's over 50 years. Yeah. And probably, you know, I've been going around and publicly with cats all of my life. Yeah. So it just never occurred to me that you couldn't work with cats. Sure. You know, but a lot of people see me with the cats and. Uh, <laughs> They think it's, you know, such an oddity to see me with a cat. And to me, it's odd that other people don't I've never seen you cat. without a cat. <laughs> I don't think I ever have. We, have a, we had a friend, and he was uh, he had serious neck surgery, and he ended up at St. Camilla's reha rehabbing. And probably the youngest one there, over at uh, St. Camilla's. And you visited John twice. Remember, do you remember that? Yes, of course. He, did, did the kitty get up, actually, and kind of did he pat him? I think I had, yeah, Elle with me. I think she got out of bed, you know, got out of the stroller and got in his bed and, uh, you know, had a nice visit with them. And, of course, it's cool because the cats get out and they walk around on people's beds yeah. and they check things out and, you know, um, Daniel, what are we doing? Where are some of the places you're going? No Cornerstone. Where else are you, do you go? Oh, we go to a lot of places now. Um, we actually only have six days open in our calendar. For this whole next month, September? Well, for our, any given month. We only have six days open. And um, which so once we fill those six days, we'll be uh, taking a waiting list. People will, in fact, we just came off of a cat show, which is where I got this little monkey. And um, we made four really good connections. Um, one was with a hospital. One was with a school. Um, which hospital was it? Um, up in Milford. Oh, and, Hospital? Right. Uh, and, that's great. I had always wondered. How about you, Mass? What yeah, no. I'm not actively soliciting mm -hmm. clients because I would hate to turn people away, so that's why I do like the cat shows. Yeah. But this is, you'll really like this story. It's kind of a cute story. There's a man who works at one of the investment companies, and apparently they bring in comfort dogs all the time. And he said that he's been agitating for cats, and um, they just never bring in cats. And so, of Why? course, he got to meet Zora Rose. Thank you, Joey. You're doing a good job. Good, yeah. And so, so when he met Zora Rose, he just fell in love with Zora Rose, and he said, I, I, and I gave him one of our brochures, and he said, I am so excited to have this brochure. He said, I'm going right back to my company yeah. and telling them that they have to hire you, yes. you know, that I found someone with cats, and that they have to bring in cats as well as the dogs. And so, uh, look at him now. Good boy. Good boy. Now good he is boy. A, is he a, there's a blue point, a seal point? What is he? I think he's a chocolate point, or it could be a seal point. His brother, Daniel David, is a blue point. So if they're, bro yeah, if they're brothers, then wouldn't he be the same? No, uh, they may have different mothers. They could have, you know, they, they, they're from the same cattery, but yeah. I don't know if they're actually related. Because How could somebody give up a beautiful Siamese cat like this? Oh my gosh. Look at how good he is. I know, what a blessing to get him. You know, but I was thinking this morning, it only took me a year to get on this show with the Siamese, because remember, I was hoping to bring Daniel David yeah. last year, yeah. and... Um, and, you know, that's part of the fur love method. You know, the kitties are like us. Oh, Joey, you're so good. I can't go stand it. I hope. I, hope, <laughs> I know. I hope so because we don't want him mewing for hours here. No, I don't, um, I don't mind his meow. He's just so relaxed. Yeah, we want him to be calm and comfortable. Um, How'd you like this to come visit you? When you're in the hospital, you're, I would, I'd be looking forward to this so, so much. Oh, yeah, and, oh. and we do. We have, um, we have repeat people now that are... Like well, we there are some facilities we go to every week, and and you know the people, the staff will meet me at the door, and they'll say, oh, so and so is going to take a nap, and I said, well, don't forget the kitties are coming today, and they, yeah. they get the people just get all excited, you yeah. know, and it gives them something nice and wholesome to look forward to because, you know, it.
And I'm not saying anything about the care that our seniors get because they get great care, but the staff is so busy caring for them that they don't have time to come in and sit down with them and converse with them and, oh, you know. It's settled right in there. Thank you, Joey. It's a hell of a place for the camera to try to go. I know. Well, if you cut me out, Paul, I'll understand. Joey's oh, better luck at so that I am. She is dressed head to toe. Again, everything cat, her T-shirt, her pants. And you did you did you buy those with the kitty thing on? Oh, your yeah, shoes? of course. And, of course, her earrings. Yeah, but look at that. I have Siamese earrings. Oh, <laughs> necklace you've got bracelets you've got the rings well yeah but i don't know if you remember but my, i try and coordinate my outfits with the cats that i'm working with because it's um it helps people with their cognitive skills you know and i was in a memory care unit one day and this lady just passed away but i was talking to her one day and she, all of a sudden she looked at me and she said I just noticed everything you're wearing matches the cat that you're working with. And, and she was just, in memory care? Yeah, and that just, like, blew me away. Yeah. I was just, because that's why I do all this stuff, you know, to people who are not in the know. They go, oh, look how silly, you know, she's wearing all this cat stuff. But, mm -hmm. and, you know, it, it's, it's to connect people up so that they can have meaningful conversations you know, and um, and it's funny because Paul, you like this. It's usually the men that like my outfits, the male, ah. and the guys will go, "Honey, you always look so cute." You know, they'll yeah. go, "Where did you get those shoes?" So I like your shirt, and the women will be like, oh, "It's just a cat goes on," you know. But the I guys, cool. But the guys will all go, "Oh, how cute!" You know, and one guy always says to me, "Honey, you always look so cute when you come in with all your cat stuff," you yeah. know. And this is Kate Cotain. She's brought. Baby Maybe Joey today, and she, he, she's well. He's your babyest cat of all the kitties, right? Yep. right now. How many in all do you have? Well, the quiver is full. Let's just put it that way. The right. quiver is full. You know, um, we. You know that that's also part of our method. We were we were talking about Daniel David before, and you know the kitties are really allowed to develop into like their own their own little self. And apparently, with Daniel David, he's going to raise the kittens. He's going to. He was. He was kissing this kittens, like grooming him, right? Grooming oh yeah, he loves this. Look, this Look at is this his, little boy. He's six weeks old. This is uh, Daniel David's little baby, and so oh. this morning I got up, and Joey has been waking me up in the middle of the night, and uh, oh. this morning he didn't, and so he was on the bench, and I went and got him and brought him in bed because I wanted to make sure he was okay. And the minute I got him in my bed, he started to cry. Aww. And Daniel David came down like a shot. Yeah. He was like, is he okay? What are you doing to my baby? He's adopted him. You know, and it was just precious. And, and it's usually been my experience that it's the Tomcats. Yes, I know, baby. It's the, it's tough being famous. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're going to go around in there. <laughs> It's the Tomcats that usually end up being very maternal. Well, that's what I've heard. That is, we have a boy cat and a girl cat. Our male okay. cat is okay. much more affectionate than the girl. She's kind of skittish. She's funny. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. Why is that? They're both fixed. Yeah, I don't know, but it's been my experience that the boys are just, you know, especially with kittens, yeah. you know, and I mean, to see Daniel David with this little boy, oh. and they, they run up and down the hall, and Daniel David is like, you know, 50,000 times bigger than yeah. this little kitten, yeah. and so they're like big brother, little oh. brother, yeah. and... Um, you know, and I say to him, you know, where's little brother? Where's little brother? And he actually looks for him. And if I say to Joey, where's big brother? He goes and looks for Daniel David. So it's wicked cute, you know. And, of course, they came from the same cattery. And I mm -hmm. think that um, Joey probably smells like Daniel David, too. Yeah, so it's sure. a familiar scent. And um, he just adores this little guy. Kate, so. you, you don't just go to facilities. You would, if somebody wanted you to come to their home, yep. visit with somebody, maybe in hospice or respite care. How can they get a hold of you, Kate? Well, my um, give me my oh, you <laughs> I'm like I'm like super tired. We just did a cat show, so you can call me on the phone, which is five zero eight four seven six three zero four one, or you could send me an email at catlady one zero nine at hotmail dot com, and that's catlady with a K. I'm also on Facebook, 
And I have email, which is again Cat Lady. Um, Cat Lady. Okay. Yep, okay. Yep. Cat Lady 109 at hotmail.com. Oh, and we're also on forlovecomfortcats.com online. And you so can. So you have your own website. Yeah. Right? Oh, so yeah. You, so now you'll go in, okay, uh, facilities, and also you'll go to someone's home. I think this is awesome. Have you been to hospice yet? Well, like in a facility or someone's home? Uh, no, no, but apparently, um, pet therapy we don't call ourselves pet therapists we're a comfort outfit which is totally different than pet therapy um but hospice i guess is starting to um bring in animals yes. and the people could pick yeah. whatever animal they want and there again we're the only game in town because i don't know if you know but again for love comfort cats is the only program like this in the world you told yeah yeah there is another program like for love comfort cats because it's my own method yeah. we have a team of cats that i work with it's not just you know one person one cat um we're not volunteer it's a company so you know, I always say you pay us, we show up, you sure. know. Yeah. But, you know, a lot of times people will have one pet, their pet gets old, and or they have other commitments, and if they're a volunteer, they don't always come all that regularly. And, uh, you know, people's lives change. Oh, little baby. Oh, you should see his... Um Collar. Did you design that yourself? Yes, of course. It's got all this bling on it. Well, it says Joey. It's a, oh my God. It says can you see Joey. The, let's see, can you hold him? Let's see. Can you zero you in on that, fall. Paul? It's a Zoe. That, Joey. Uh, Joey. Zoe's our cat. <laughs> Joey. And uh, you made it yourself. Yes, and it was funny because after I had a volunteer with me on Sunday when oh, this all happened. And um, we were stopping at job lot all the way home trying to get a collar for Joey, small enough for Joey. And then to the second or third stop, I said to my friend, I'm really overtired. Tired. I said, I have a whole box of collars at home, and I can just make him a little collar. And, you and did. So, so we had another collar, and that one was too big. And then I got up Monday morning and jumped out of bed and made him his little collar. And so, of course, he likes his collar, but the leash, not so much. He is already bonding with her at six weeks. Do you find that they like to have their little paws rubbed? We we found that with our with our kitties. They like to have their paws rubbed. Yeah. And the look on our boy cat's face like, oh. <laughs> you know, he's just like, look at him, look at him. Are you catching this, Paul? He's doing the same thing Ace does. <laughs> he's a good boy. And it's scary for a guy this little, you know, with the sounds and sights and everything, you know, and is different he, is people. Is he eating okay? Yeah, at first, though, I, we had a horror show because he got very sick after he came. And, of course, oh. you know, I think that... When they come to my house, you know, there's all kinds of really good, rich food, and they stuff themselves, and I just think he ate too much. And he threw up, yeah. Was, well, now we had... Oh, the other way. Left, okay. Yeah, it was, like, completely <laughs> through. Oh. And then he was very sick, and, um, of course, he was supposed to do a visit yesterday, and I'm thinking, oh, man, you know, is, that he, might not be good is there something wrong with him? But yeah. um, he got up, he woke me up at, like, 4 o'clock yesterday morning, started eating, and then um, he he broke literally broke out of the crate. You know you're supposed to keep him in a crate, and that never works. And I had the crate on my bed, and he was trying to break the gate on the crate. Has he and, ever succeeded? Well, no, because he wasn't in the crate all that long. Because Daniel David was coming down, you know, talking to yeah, him, and yeah. he just wanted he didn't want to be in the crate. He was like, I don't like this. I'm coming out, yeah. and I was afraid he was going to hurt himself. So I thought, oh well what the heck so I let him out and then of course I lost him and I was hysterical about that and I found him in a little five pound pail under my bathroom sink. He, he got had, in the pail? Yeah, he had gotten in this little round pail and he was in there. <laughs> and the only way I found him was all the other cats were going in and looking at him. Peeking, you know, so I thought, was he in there? And then he, he and now he's doing a lot better, you know, he's settling in, he's playing. And Look at this cat, five, six weeks old and already, huh. <laughs> people are going to love him when you bring him to visit people. Um, do, what, what are some of the things that you run into that you know that, well, 
well, I would think most of them are terrific experiences. What is the kind of person that might not be a good bet to bring the kitty into? Do they speak up at first, or they're afraid of the kitties? Yeah, it depends, you know, um, especially when you're dealing with people who have, like, cognitive and, you know, visual problems. A lot of times what happens is people think I have a baby. And we had a really awful episode with a lady because we, I was working you know, in some facilities. I have an escort, and the girl I was working with was just a doll. But she kept saying to people, do you want to see the baby? Do you uh -oh. want to see the baby? Yeah. And this yeah. woman came over thinking I had a baby. And then she was furious, and it just set her off. And she was going, that's not a baby, that's a cat, and that shouldn't be here, and it should be home, and take that stuff off. And, oh, my God. And I had to say to the little girl, you know what? Don't say that anymore. We have to be very, very careful that we're specific with people, what's going on. You know, some people will think I'm giving the cats away, and they go, you know, I can't have that cat. And you're trying to explain it to them, but they can't hear you, and they get all anxious because they know they can't have a cat, and so they don't even want to look at the cat because they don't want to, you know, have the cat steal the hat, you know, sure. and... Uh, well, when you bring them into a, the baby cats, and the cats into a, someone's room, do you sit there quietly and let them play, or do you kind of talk with the person else? Oh, no, I talk with them, and um, the fur love method is, because it's my own method, it's kind of an interesting thing, but I come in and I say, hi, do you want a kitty visit? And, of course, the cats usually pop up in the stroller. Yeah, she's got know. a real baby stroller like no, this. No, it's cat. a pet stroller. But it looks like a baby, but I saw <laughs> No, they're pet strollers, oh. and so, and it has a bar across the front, so the cats yeah. can stand up and, and people can see them, which yeah. is great. And then if they say yes, I go in and the cat jumps out on their bed and then I sit on the bed. But the very first thing I do, I got ahead of myself there, the very first thing I do when I walk into somebody's room is I say, can you mute the TV? Can and you it, shut it off? Can, yeah, can you mute the television? Okay. And you know, nine times out of ten, they say to me, I'm going to shut that right off. And when I started this, that was a big bone of contention with Why? the staff. They'd go, you can't shut that off. They're watching that. And I'd go, you know what? If they're watching TV, they don't need a visit. Oh. You know? But it's also, and, would it drive the cat nuts if that TV was on, too, or would they well, be okay? It, well, it's distracting, and they mm -hmm. start watching the screen, and I start watching the screen. And, right, they, yeah. and it's just that the people don't realize how the TV, like, sucks you right in. You know, you can't not watch it. And so now, because that's a big part of the method, the staff actually grabs the clickers from the people and yeah. mutes it, shuts it off or whatever, and the people really appreciate that. And then, of course, I get the, once the cat is settled, I sit down next to them, and I always sit close to make sure, you know, because the situation can go down, you know, can deteriorate really quickly when you're working with an animal. Yeah. So I sit usually right up against the cat right. and make sure that they're close to the person so they can reach them because a lot of times they're in wheelchairs and stuff. Yeah. And so... Um, Kate, do you ever deal with children who are maybe... Well, how about Children's Hospital? Or the Children's... Actually, the whole Children's Hospital within UMass. I keep thinking that'd be awesome. If I was a kid in bed, boy, I'd love to see this cat coming. Well, kids are hot, too, because, like I said, we just came from the cat show, and, uh, oh, my God, the kids, they'd come screaming up to the table, and then I'm like, stop, stop, don't scare my cat, you know, and I'm surprised. Their parents don't say to their children, you know, be quiet, be respectful, yeah. don't go racing up and screaming, you know. And so then the parents would be kind of like, oh, yes, yeah. you know, Jimmy, calm down or whatever, you know. And then I made them, I make them all line up. And so, uh, look at him. I think he's gone. He's I happy. Think, I think he's gone on He's just now. a baby, six weeks old. <laughs> Joey, you're a good boy. Joey's a good boy. What made you decide boy. to name him Joey? What made you I it just came into my head and then she said James for his middle name and so when I came home of course all their names come from the Bible yeah. and I googled what Joseph means and Joseph means increase and James means one who follows so the increase has followed Daniel David I thought that was kind of cool I like that we're talking with Kate Cote and she is the fur founder of fur love comfort cats and these kitty cats and Kate 
she brings them. Now, it, it looks like a real baby stroller. One time I saw him, her walking, I was visiting somebody walking down the hall in the facility. And at first it didn't kick in that it was my friend Kate. But, you know, it looked like I thought it was a woman walking her child down the hall. Then I, she got further, closer, and closer. I said, I know that woman, and I know what's in that. <laughs> it's a kitty cat. It is the most adorable setup. Kate, if they would like you to come, how do they reach you again? Well, you can email me at catlady109 at hotmail.com, which is catlady with a K. Uh, phone is usually best, 508-476-3041. You can also message us on Facebook under For Love Comfort Cats. And I have a website, which is forlovecomfortcats.com. So that's us. And Joey came in in a little purse today because yeah. he's too small for the stroller. Can I hold him again? I don't know. That might be a mistake, but we'll try it. <laughs> well, we're almost done. Now, don't, don't get mad at me now. Can you let oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, there's nothing like having a kitten. He might stop playing with you here. You oh. might be sorry. So he came in a little sack, and that was interesting because I haven't worked with a kitten this small in, like, decades. Yeah. And so I had to find a little purse to put him in and think of all the different things, you know, like I had to put a little pad in there because, of course, he's only little. What's that thing that we that people carry baby? Oh, the front thing, they carry a real baby in. What is that thing that we are in, the, like, the pouch in the front? I know. I forgot. Somebody told me what that's called. And, uh, Would he work? Maybe he'd work with that. No, because I, I, well, actually, I used to work the cats like that when I was younger, but then as they grow and they get heavier, the weight is just too much, and yeah. people can't pet them, and A snug so, snuggly. Yeah. That's what they're called. So he's just in the purse for now, but as he starts to grow, he'll work in the stroller, and then he can walk around in the stroller and, yeah. and figure out how to, how to behave when he's out. Look how well we hate this child. I call him my child. child in law. Oh, Joey, you're doing so good, oh, Joey. So Joey's a good boy. He signed me so he knows how to talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's watching you. <laughs> he says, I, this, kid, this lady knows kitties. I think Jan likes kitties. I do. Ever since I was a little girl, when I was about nine years old, but we didn't think my father wanted any cats. But I was taking swimming lessons. And on the way out, someone very cleverly had a box in the driveway of kittens. And I stopped, and I found one. I got my mother to say, all right, we'll bring it home. And we were just so afraid Dad would say no. Next thing you know, we found him in the other room playing with the cat. <laughs> I won. <laughs> After that, it was guinea pig, fresh. Oh, oh well, sweet pea. Siamese cats are notoriously smart, what I've heard, right? Are you going to pass all the... Kitties uh, are cats? All <laughs> kitties are smart. All kitties are smart. Maybe he'll be on the Cat Mensa Society. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how good. Look, Kate designed. Yes, I know. Kate designed his collar all by herself, and it says Joey on it. <laughs> Kate has a necklace. Everything like all the bling bling she designed. Now, that's pretty cool. Now, how'd you like to be, in, you know, in a hospital bed or maybe a, a rehab or nursing home, or whatever, or hospice, and have this little fellow come in and keep you company? I mean, to me, that is. Oh, oh. Okay, let's see if we can get him to wear his wings now. He says, you're putting girl wings on me, Mom. <laughs> well, that's oh. why they're gold. Yes. Joey, can you put your wings on? Oh. There we go. Oh, look at that. Look who flew in to bring peace and purrs. Joseph James. So they wear, he wears that if he goes to meet when you... I have pictures of him on my Facebook page. If you go on Facebook, you'll see a picture of him with the little wings on. I can't tell if he's purring. I'm feeling a vibration in him. Is that it? I don't know. He's very, very loud when he purrs. Are you going to bite those wings, Joey? <laughs> okay, mommy. He says, Mom, I don't know about that. <laughs> we got about two minutes left, Kate. So... What's, where are you going to be peering next, you know, like maybe an event or something like that? No, I'm done with events. I am so dead from doing that cat show. <laughs> was yeah. like, there were so many weeks of preparation and then the two days and then staying up at night with Joey. Yeah. So the, we won't be doing anything again till February, and yeah. that's only if we, if we don't fill our slots in the calendar. 
So people, we only have six days left to fill on that calendar, and then there'll be a waiting list Can for Can people uh, request a certain one of your cats? Yeah, but I don't like to do that because what what can happen is, you know, there'll be, like, you know, you met, yeah, Elle, and she's like one of the favorites, and then everybody would ask for the same the cat. Same over, cat over and again. they do need to rotate out so that, um, <laughs> you know, they don't forget how to do their visits. And mm -hmm. so, you know, I don't want, you know, the cats to be overburdened. So every so often I will, you know, like we did a birthday party for a 96-year-old lady and her last cat was an orange cat. So I yeah. brought Sammy yeah. and Sammy's visited her a couple of times now. But then there's another lady that the orange cats can't visit her because it makes her cry. Aww. So, so that's why I kind of call the shots, you know, because sure. it's really my profession is to know which cats it's going to do it. The yeah. people respond to, and in the longer visits, I like mm -hmm. to bring the older cats sure. and that sort of thing. Okay. So we got to but up now. Go downstairs to the Upton Town Library if you're in the area or whatever. We have bulletin boards, and she'll have one. It's got a paw, a cutout <laughs> paw. You can't miss it. And if you'd like to get in touch with her, you know, feel free. What she's doing is fantastic. Thank you. And thank you for bringing mommy, Joey. <laughs> Peace and purrs. Peace and purrs. <laughs> She'll be back. See you next time, I'll be my guest.